Colorado first tonight. You may have noticed hundreds of people blocking traffic in front of the state capitol today. They were protesting Columbus Day, which is coming up on Monday. Some indigenous people say Christopher Columbus supported genocide and slavery and shouldn't be praised for it. They want the holiday to honor something else. Dylan Thomas explains. This Monday is Columbus Day, and did you know that holiday was created right here in Denver all the way back in 1905? Well, a growing population of people say that's not something to be proud of, but rather embarrassed. It's time to abolish Columbus Day. If you were near the state capitol Saturday, it was clear. Many native people are done with Columbus Day. To celebrate Columbus is an affront to native people. Columbus Day was created in Denver 114 years ago and quickly became a national holiday celebrating the arrival of Christopher Columbus to the Americas. But indigenous people point out he did not discover the Americas. They argue he invaded them and killed along the way. He was also linked to slavery. We as native people welcomed newcomers, but that wasn't reciprocated. For the fourth time, State Representative Adrian Benavidez says she will introduce a bill to abolish Columbus Day and create Indigenous Peoples Day. He never, ever stepped foot on, in the United States. What country celebrates a foreign person that never stepped foot into their country? Other states have already made the change. I think many more people are recognizing that the veneration and the celebration of Columbus is an anti-Indian. And this march epitomizes that this city and this state and this country can have an example beyond Columbus Day that brings us together. Representative Benavidez says she thinks this might have failed the last three times as some may see it as an insult to Italians. Some here at the event said they will threaten their vote if Democrats don't push this through before the next election. At the state capitol, I'm Dylan Thomas, covering Colorado First.